بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ مارننگ گڈ آفٹر نون گڈ ایوننگ ویئر ایور یو آر دس از نائی مشتاق ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو اے بک ریویو آن اے ویری بیوٹیفل بک لیٹ می شو یو جرمز اینڈ جولز آف پاکستان دا ریلیجن آف پاکستان بائی ڈاکٹر امینہ احمد ہوتی دس از اے ویری گڈ بک آن دا ٹائپس آف ریلیجن دیٹ آر اویلیبل ان پاکستان اینڈ بک آن انٹرفیئر ڈائلاگ interfaith harmony and uh, uh, pluralism and there are so many ideas in this uh, book this is sort of an encyclopedia on pakistan studies interfaith dialogue uh, interfaith dialogue pluralism and uh, and this is a very thick book you can see and i think this must be 5 6 kilo in weight and uh, this is very beautifully published in pakistan printed and uh, you know in pakistan and apart from reading what i was thinking is looking at the you know feeling the weight uh, in the morning after uh, morning prayer you can also do it uh, you know morning exercise so just kidding so this is a very good book let me give you the book review brief book review and i would like you to get your copy from the publishers or from the author and do read it this is a very very good historical document also on the religious and uh, religious communities development in pakistan also so let's go for the book review so this is the book germs and jewels of germs and jewels the religion of pakistan by dr amina ahmed hoti and you can see this is the book and let me show you the design work this is beautifully printed you can see the shining and uh, you see it's all embossed letters and uh, this is also a artwork beautifully and if i remove the dust cover the same is inside same quality of uh, printing is inside you can see the shining colors so <clears throat> when you open the first one this is inside picture um, this is a uh, i think uh, building of a muslim saint or mosque this picture is in the book so details are in, inside the book and this is the inner page and let me go to the copyright page so okay this is the germs and jewels the religion of pakistan professor dr amina ahmed hoti director of the center for dialogue and action markaz elam this is the first edition of 2021 yeah and let me show you the printer <coughs> lay topical this is in lahore No, this is the address of the publishers and now let me take you to the dedication page <coughs> this is a beautiful artwork and this is the dedication this book is dedicated to the deeply beloved who created the nations and tribes of the earth that they may know one another from them comes those whom the scholars and saints call germs and jewels if you look at the verse so that they may know one another and this part this is basically a translation of the uh, quranic verse uh, the verse is surah hujrat surah number 49 and verse number 30 so if you go to the quran pick up the quran and look for this verse surah number 49 hujrat and verse 30 so this is the translation of the sura of the holy quran now let me take you to the this is the list of contents but, but before that there is a beautiful verse with islamic you know artwork and uh, it says bismillahir rahmanir rahim to each of each of you let me show you okay to each of you we gave a law and pattern of life if god has pleased he would surely have made you one people professing the same faith but he wished to try and test you by that which he has given each of you so trace so raise to all that is good and this is from uh, surah number 5 and verse number 48 from the holy quran now this is a very beautiful verse because this is say god has given you know um different people different religion so this is a very beautiful verse on the concept of pluralism and also uh, our competition between different uh, religion is based on commonalities and good thing by which 
uh, by that which he has given each of you so race to all that is good which means our competition with one another is on good things how well we uh, you know uh, work for the betterment of mankind betterment of the humanity so this is a very beautiful verse from the holy quran and this is very rightly placed in this book so the list of contents forwarded by his um, royal highness prince al hasan bin talal and then there is an introduction then there are basically 10 chapters covering 10 religions of pakistan chapter 1 is jainism zoroastrian zoroastrians kalash jewish buddhist bahais six christians hindus muslims the last word the acknowledgement from the author glossary and bibliography okay so and let me show you so this is followed by his royal highness prince al hasan bin talal of jordan and uh, then there is a prologue by isfand yar mohammad bandara isfand yar m bandara former member of national parliament of minorities pakistan and this is uh, you know um, beautifully uh, written and then there is introduction by the author and the introduction is beautifully written and she mentioned why he used the word germs and jewels for the title of this book and this is very uh, informative and very you know mot- motivational uh, introduction and you can see these are the high quality printing with picture historical picture and uh, still going and the author dr amin ahmed hoti you can see this old historical building is she says praying at mahmud of ghazni mosque built in 1048 ad sawat so you can see this is before the crusades area uh, era mm, and also structure of the book you can see the picture of beautiful pictures and you can see this is the temple i think the roof side of the temple so this is the first chapter on jains and this is their historical you know worship places and this is the second zoroastrians happiness and to zurtush jisko bolte hain urdu mein and this is there uh, you know i think this is hindi language i don't know but anyway it will be their own language so this is another beautiful book and this is mr sp um, you know bandara he, he, who sponsored and published the book and this is his wife and two beautiful kids and also let me show you um, this is kalash nobody in even pakistan know the proper background uh, historical history of kalash people but she has given us uh, you know so much about the kalash people and this becomes one of their you know you can see this mukhtalif uh, uk uh, you know royal family they are visiting kalash and a lot of tourists goes there <coughs> you can see that see that very high this is dr amina ahmed hoti the author of the book and you can see uh, you know so much information with a lot of photographs high quality photographs so this is the important part jews in pakistan and you can see there is a jewish graveyard in karachi 
and uh, this is the first former uh, sorry former jewish mayor of karachi you can you, the, the first former mayor of karachi and this is his uh, you know grave and these are the jewish you know with hebrew language their grave yard in karachi this is another jewish grave in karachi you can see that and let me show you the pakistani jews they are here the picture and the pakistani jews in karachi are praying and also the pakistani jews all of them have muslim names and i think maybe uh, this is uh, secretly they are uh, you know exercising their faith because due to extremism and you know fundamentalism maybe to call oneself oneself jew in pakistan and you know is very seems to be very difficult so this is also there this is also there so these are jews also these and then there is a buddhist and uh, you can see a lot of you see this is damage done by talibans the historical statue of Ju uh, buddha is destroyed and then there is a after buddhism there is a chapter on bahai faith i guess now this is still the buddhist buddhism is going on here you see yeah then there is a faith on bahai bahai in pakistan and then there is a you know six in pakistan This is Ma'am Dr. Amina Hoti, the author of uh, the book. This is in Hassan Abdal, and you can see the beauty of the picture, high quality, sharp picture. And this is Dr. Akbar Ahmed, who is the father of Dr. Amina Ahmed Hoti. And you can see she is interviewing one Sikh. Kalbir Singh, head Granthi of Panja Sahib, Gurdwara, interviewed by the author. And you can see this beautifully taken pictures. This is the author, Dr. Amin Ahmed Hoti. This is another <coughs> beautiful picture. Again, this is Dr. Amina Madhoti, and then we have the Christians in Pakistan. This is uh, Saint Patrick Cathedral, Karachi. Picture inside the cathedral. This is another church, beautiful church. and then there are there are, you know then the next is hindus hindus in pakistan you can see that the very historical places of the hindu temples in pakistan not very much known to the pakistani you know intellectuals and communities this is a very good encyclopedia of religions in pakistan basic introduction and their history this book gems and jewels and you can see that mainly they are in the sindh area mostly but they are also in islamabad lahore karachi but sindh is the i would say the majority of the children celebrating holi and you can see that this is very very famous uh, 
no no let me show you this is inside and this is very very katas raj very famous hindu temple i wish there is a documentary in video form on this book that will be lovely and this is dr amina ahmed hoti with the delegation this is another book and this chapter is on muslims in pakistan it's a beautiful badshahi mosque and uh, the shrine of data ganbaksh sufi uh, one of the famous sufi this is shah faisal mosque in islamabad this is golara uh, uh, the shrine of uh, azad peer mehr ali shah in uh, islamabad also so this book is full of you know historical places so anyway and the total chapter of the books are sir this is Four hundred four, four one four are the total chapters. Sorry for the camera zoom sometime, but uh, this is the you know, Dr. Amin Ahmed Hoti, I guess, sitting. The photograph is beautiful. The printing quality is so beautiful. You can see this on every page. These these are graphs on every page. On every page, you see that. Let me show you here. you see that this is the artwork so anyway let me show you now yeah you see on every page you can see this artwork apart from text so this is a very very beautifully and each and every this is a you know uh, islamic uh, artwork and islami and this is page 205 so this is how they have designed the page work and every page So this is, I think, is about uh, 150 grams or 200 grams art paper, and the quality is all four color with high quality, you know, photographs and graphics. So at the back side, <clears throat> there are comments from Royal Highness Prince Hassan bin Talal, Bappi Sadwa, <coughs> very famous author, Matthew Bogan, author of Land and Be Beauty, Land of Pain. seeking the soul of pakistan <clears throat> then justice dr fida mohammad khan and then professor akbar akbar ahmed who is the father of the author ibn khaldun chair of islamic studies school of international service american university washington dc and this book would have not have been possible without the generous support of isfan isfan yar m bandara and rupees is 4000 uh, rupees pakistani and you see the background so beautifully designed so this is a brief brief introduction of the book hope you like it please get your copy and <coughs> you you will get a lot of information on pakistan and the variety of religions in pakistan there's a lot of sufi sources mentioned in the book and historical sources also so this is a sort of a historical visit of pakistan um, sufi perception pluralism interfaith harmony there are so many perspective of this book so depend how what you want to get it from this book so thank you so much and inshallah look forward to see you in another episode allah hafiz bye bye